Good morning, friends. Hello, hello, hello. Hey there, hi there, ho there. Um, welcome, 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 welcome to kindergarten today. Hello and welcome. Um, happy Monday. I'm so glad that you're here joining us, following along, tuning in for another great week in kindergarten online. <laughs> um, so we're going to start our reading block, and that means that we're going to start with our big book of knowledge and then move on to our story for the day. So, um, so this week it looks like we're doing some onset and rhyme again. So that is where uh, we say a word in two parts, only it's going to be a little bit backwards today because I will say a word and you will say the beginning sound and then the rest of the word. I'll do the first one. Listen. Mop. So how do you break that word up into two parts? Mop. Very good. Um, listen. Mop. I will say mop without the mmm. Op. What is mop without mmm? Op. Very good. I know, a little confusing, but we'll get it. We just got to practice. <laughs> so let's try some more words. Ready? I will say the word hat. How do we say hat into two parts? <sighs> at. And what if I were to say hat without <sighs> at? Very good. Let's try another word. When. Ready? W in. When. And if I say when without the w, what do we have? In. Excellent. What about nap? Ready? Nap. N. App. And if we say nap without the, the n sound, then we just have app. Excellent. Fill. Ready? Fill. F. Ill. And fill without the f is just ill. Excellent. Last one. Jog. Uh huh. Jog. J. Og. And jog without the j sound is og. Yay! Say I can. Um. It's not blending. We're not blending. Say a word in two parts. Did we do our job? Yes, we did. And really quick, because we have we do have some like testing coming up. So really quick, let's practice saying the first sound in each word. That's just the very first sound that you hear. Ready? So I'm gonna say a word and you tell me the first sound that you hear. Mop. Mmm, good job. Hat. <sighs> Very good. Win. W. Nap. Mmm. Fill. <sighs> and jog. J. Excellent. Say, I can. Identify, sorry, the first sound in a word. Did we do our job? Yes, we did. And grown-ups, keep practicing first sounds with your kiddos because we do have testing coming up. <sighs> Probably at like the end of the month. And that, that's going to be saying the first sound in each word, naming as many letters as they can in a minute. silly that we even still have to take a test after all this but here we are thank you Arizona legislators <laughs> okay sorry let's get started with our story today um, this week we're talking about I think it's like ways we move let's see if I can I should have like tried to remember that before I started yep this week we are talking about ways we move. So our story we have today is called Jonathan and His Mommy. 
So the title is the name of the book and it tells us what the story is about. So what do we think our story will be about? Yeah, put your thinking caps on one time. Hmm. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be about Jonathan and his mommy. And I would assume from this picture that this is Jonathan and this must be his mommy. So let's find out what they do, right? By Irene Small. So the author writes the story. So Irene, what did she do? She wrote the story and illustrated by Michael Hayes. So the illustrator draws the picture. So what did Michael do? He drew all these wonderful pictures. Jonathan and his mommy. There's Jonathan. Oh, sorry. It's a dedication page. I like to go walking and talking with my mom. So what is Jonathan doing with his mom? They're going for a walk to talk and they're holding hands. Is it just me or is it like crazy to see people without wearing masks? Like it still like blows my mind. <laughs> oh, the times we live in. So, um, sorry. First, we zigzag walk down the street. It looks strange to the people we meet. So why do we think it looks strange? Because they're walking in zigzags. Yeah, if I saw someone walking in zigzags, I'd probably be like, huh, that's pretty interesting. But I mean, it doesn't really matter. They can walk however they want. Then we take big giant steps, big giant steps, and talk in loud giant voices. And we say big things the way giants must talk. I say, did you see that humongous mammoth among us <laughs> so how are they walking now they're taking big giant steps right after that we take itsy bitsy baby steps itsy bitsy baby steps and talk in tiny baby voices about baby things like itsy bitsy spiders Marshmallows. So how are they walking now? With its bitsy baby steps, that's right. Next, we take bunny steps. Hop, 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 hop. I said a hip, hop, hippity hop. <laughs> hip hop too sometimes. As we wriggle our noses and wiggle our ears, we look so funny that we end up in tears. So why are they in tears? Probably from laughing, that's right. They're hopping, they're laughing, they're having a great time. Tears that dry with the wind as we take fast morning steps, fast morning steps, running our race. So look at um, the picture. What are Jonathan and his mommy doing? They're running down the street. Yeah, that's right. And why do the words say they're running? Because what? Because they're having a race. It says running our race. Good job. You're the winner. I'm the misser. I see on my mom's face. Sometimes she can't keep up with my fast pace. So who's the winner of the race? Jonathan, right? And how do we know that? because he's in front of his mom. That's right, and what do the words say to tell us that he's the winner? Yeah, it, the words say that he's the winner and his mom just can't keep up with him, right? So I slow it down and we do slow motion steps. Slow motion steps. As we talk about molasses, and birthdays and how long they take and just before we're about to fall asleep. 
So what are they doing on this page? They're taking very slow steps. So they've hopped like a bunny, they've walked like giants, they've walked with itsy bitsy baby steps, they've ran a race. They're taking really slow motion steps. We take a leap onto our toes and do ballet steps. Ballet steps, arms in the air, twirling round and round till our feet touch the ground. Oh, that's cute. So what clues in the picture and the words tell us about the character's ballet steps? How are they holding their arms? They stretch their arms up in the air because we can see it in the picture and because the words told us their arms are in the air twirling round and round, right? And how are they standing? Yeah, they're standing on their toes. Yeah, and what do they do? They put their arms in the air, they stand on their toes, and they twirl around. Then we do crazy crisscross steps. Crazy crisscross steps. Mom steps and I step and our legs cross. Mom steps and I step and our legs criss crazy cross. <laughs> the one who makes the last step is the boss of the crisscross. <laughs> Cute. So what, <laughs> look at the picture. What happens to Jonathan's hat when he and his mom do crisscross steps? Yeah, it looks like maybe his mom knocked it off his head because they're just being silly doing their crisscross steps. After crossing a fast, after crossing a fast in our last crisscross, we move on to reggae steps, reggae steps, hip swaying, feet step, step, sliding, side to side, bodies moving to the beat of our hearts. So what are Jonathan and his mom doing? They're doing reggae steps or it sounds like they're dancing, right? And what are the other people doing? in the background. They're smiling, laughing, clapping. This guy looks like he's like kind of dancing in place. Then we take backward steps, backward steps, and go to all the places we've been. So how do we know that they're doing backward steps? Because their heads are turned backwards, right? And where are they going? To all the places they've been. Which is good because by that time, we're tired. So how does Jonathan look? He looks sleepy, right? And why is he so sleepy? Because he's been moving all day. What do you think Jonathan's gonna do next? Maybe go home and take a nap. That's what I would do. And we take Jonathan and mommy steps, Jonathan and mommy steps, and walk our way home. So how are Jonathan and his mom moving now? <laughs> They're walking. And where are they walking to? Their house, that's right. Yay. It's like so crazy because I read the story every year and I actually like don't remember it, but that was so cute. I loved all the different ways they walked, they danced, they did ballet, reggae, they did their little hip hop, hoppity hip, <laughs> itsy bitsy steps, giant steps. Very fun, lots of different ways to move. All right, so I hope you enjoyed our story. Thanks so much for following along, joining us, tuning in. Um, there might be a seesaw assignment for this, so I haven't got to that part yet. But if there is, go ahead and enjoy your seesaw activity, and I will see you soon, okay? Bye. Don't forget to work hard. Do your best. Don't give up. Be good and make good choices, okay? Bye.